College students have returned to campus for the first time since the pandemic shattered their spring semester. But their college experiences are very different from the ones they left behind. Schools have limited access to dorms, enacted curfews, and moved courses online. But are students taking COVID-19 seriously? With all the chaos and uncertainty, students are wondering, is the education that they're paying thousands of dollars for worth it? We checked in with college students around Minnesota about how COVID-19 has affected their return to school. Hey, I'm Zoe, and I'm with the Star Tribune. University's plans for the fall semester have changed constantly, and that has been a major stressor for students who are trying to adjust to this new reality. We asked how they're dealing with college in a pandemic. Online classes are kind of tough for me personally. I feel like I learn better in person and I can be more engaged. I feel like I'm learning, partly because like I ask a lot of questions and like I email my teacher, my, my professors all the time. I'm like, how do I do this? How do I do that? It's a lot harder for me personally. I'm trying to um, understand a lot of the material, but when you are online, it just doesn't stick as much in my opinion. Personally, I have added difficulties because I have kids um, and my kids are doing distance learning. So we're kind of doing stuff sometimes at the same time. For students living with family or medical conditions, the risks are much higher. A lot of the students at St. Thomas that I've noticed without masks are white students who believe they're like basically superheroes, right? I don't wanna be on campus and risk my health and my parents' health. The consensus among 50% of the student body here seems to be that I only have to wear a mask if I'm not moving. So, so if I'm if I'm going past you, like this, there, there's no risk, so I don't have to wear anything. I am a type 1 diabetic, so that's in a high risk category. The communities that are most affected by this are um, already disenfranchised and impoverished communities, people who already have chronic illnesses. I drove down like frat row and I saw them all out there playing like beer pong. <laughs> it made me feel frustrated. Many students feel compelled to stay enrolled in classes despite possible impacts to their grades. For low-income students, like this is a really, really difficult time. I don't feel like I have the option to stop going to school. Like this is my only way out. I'm definitely scared of like how my grades are gonna end up, if they're gonna completely plummet. Yeah, I'm both hopeful, but at the same time, kind of like uncertain. It's hard for me to imagine that we're getting this under control, especially with the parties and the gatherings. I'm still just as worried about going online. I'm, it's, it sucks. It sucks for me as a music major. It's just gonna be me recording 300 videos of me playing a day. I don't want it to happen, but I am just waiting for it to happen within like a month. It's bound to happen. So how are students staying positive in a semester that feels so uncertain? I have one in-person class and I like actively make an effort to wake up. It just gives me a little bit of joy. Doing homework with like my friend, which sounds like so lame. <laughs> like that's like the best like time of my life. It's just like hanging out and doing homework together. <laughs> um, I scheduled all of my classes to start past 11. That's, that's what I've done. I sleep, I sleep in until, until 10.30 every day. That's how I de-stress. It's working very well. The students we spoke to had something they wanted their classmates to hear. Wear a mask if you're not in your dorm. If you go outside of your dorm and you're not wearing a mask, then you're incorrect. There is, there is no other way around it. It's wearing a mask, washing your hands, keeping six feet apart at least. Actually practice social distancing. Stop crowding bars and having parties. The sooner we get this under control, the sooner we can go back to life as it was. I just think of the people who are actually being affected by this. There's so many more people to worry about, like parents, siblings, brothers, uh, partners, whatever, um, that you could be putting at risk. And yeah, I definitely, definitely think of a lo the larger outcome rather than just yourself. What safety measures is your school taking to prevent the spread of COVID-19? How has the pandemic affected your post-graduation plans? Let us know down below in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos. Thanks for watching!